artist, primarily a painter, working in Hutchinson, Kansas. Uh, this painting is about Louise Brooks, who was a silent film star. Um, started out, well, she was born in Cherryville, Cherryville, Kansas, and lived a lot of her life in Wichita, studying dance and theater. Um, so she was a really big silent film star. She kind of um, made this haircut and this look what it is, what it was during the silent film era, this whole bob haircut. Um, when I moved to Kansas in about 2005, 2006, um, from California, so this is very different, a big, big change, I was immediately drawn to the history and this old building, which um, renovated at that time but also just the history and and the placement I mean we're in the middle of the middle we're in we're in the prairie this is not I mean without our modern day air conditioners and, and everything that we have I kept thinking how did people make it out here this is just incredible uh, this is Teresa Cuevas who grew up in Topeka Kansas and she um, later in her life, developed the first all-female mariachi band. This is Eva Jesse, born in Coffeyville, Kansas, um, in 1895. And she um, studied and taught music. She was very interested in poetry, language, music. I, I mostly paint with oil, so I am an oil painter. Um, the process to create each painting, um, I start out with a lot of research first. So I, I don't start sketching right away or anything. I read. I read biographies and autobiographies and anything about the character, the person um, that I need my hands on. Uh, Kate Bender, um, and she was one of the first serial killers in the United States. So Kate Bender and her family um, had a small inn in what is now Cherryvale, but it wasn't at that time. This is like 1870. So this is Milvina Dean. And although she is not from Kansas, her connection to Kansas was she was the youngest passenger on the Titanic. And she and her family were headed to Wichita to open a tobacco shop. So this is Carrie Nation, usually to everybody's surprise. Uh, wow, that doesn't look like Carrie Nation. So born in Atchison, Kansas, Amelia Earhart. Um, what I really loved and I think is a, a pretty obvious thing about her is how independent she was from such an early age. This is Doris Fleeson, born and raised in Sterling, Kansas. Um, in 1901, she was born. She um, went on to the University of Kansas and getting her degree in 